A professional website can be a game changer for any photographer looking to attract and retain clients. It's often the first thing potential clients will see when they're considering working with you. So it's crucial to make a great first impression. In only 10 minutes, I will walk you through easily creating your own professional-looking photography portfolio website in just three simple steps. When it comes to building a website, the first step is selecting the right website builder. Considering that three out of four websites and online stores on the internet are powered by WordPress, Shopify, or Wix, these three options clearly stand out as the top choices. If you prioritize flexibility and customization, WordPress is the way to go. On the other hand, if you're primarily focused on creating an online store and want an all-in-one solution, Shopify is your best bet. And if you're a beginner or prefer a more user-friendly approach to website building, Wix is clearly the best choice. With its intuitive drag-and-drop editor and a wide selection of professionally designed templates, you can quickly create a visually appealing website without any coding knowledge. You can find links to all three options in the description, but considering that Wix offers a 100% free plan, it is often the best starting point and also our choice for this tutorial. By watching the video until the end, you will be well prepared to build your own stunning photography portfolio with Wix. So, let's get started. Click the link in the description below to arrive at the sign-up page. To create a 100% free account, add your email address and click Start Now. On the next page, create your password. Alternatively, you can sign up using your Google or Facebook account. After clicking Sign Up, you arrive at this page. Choose the first option if you are building a website for yourself, your business, or a friend. Here you can more fully describe your topic to receive better template recommendations. For the purpose of this video, let's pretend we're creating a website for a photographer named David Anderson. In the next steps, you can configure a few additional things for your website and business. Please keep in mind that Wix is currently testing various designs and versions of this sign-up process. In some versions, you can select the goals and features for your website or choose a pre-made template. Regardless of the version you see, we always recommend skipping these steps by clicking on the button in the bottom right corner. By jumping straight to the dashboard, we can configure these things later in the editor, where we'll have many more options to choose from. The dashboard you see before you is where you will manage all settings related to your website and business. But first, we must create the website. To do this, click on Design Site. Here, you can choose to allow Wix's AI to build the site for you. Since these websites are limited in terms of design and functionality, we only recommend this option if you don't want to invest any time in building and customizing your website. Otherwise, click on Pick a Template. You can now see all the different template options for your website. Templates, like the ones you see here, don't require you to build everything from scratch. Instead, you can choose one that you really like and customize it to meet your needs. This speeds up the process, making it easier and more efficient. The recommended templates in this list are already filtered by your topic. To see all available templates, simply click on All or delete the input in the search bar. Just remember, even using the topic-specific filter provides us with many pages of professional template options, so finding something you like should not be a problem. Furthermore, we've also included our favorite photography website examples in the description, in case you need inspiration. I really like this template. Clicking on View allows us to preview the entire template with its different subpages. We can also see how your website would look on a mobile device. And if you are unsure about the template, don't worry, you can always start over with a new template and build as many versions as you like for free. Once you have chosen the best template for your website, simply click on Edit. Now it's time to add some subpages and features to your website. You probably already have an idea of what pages and features you want on your website, but if you need guidance, We've analyzed dozens of photography websites to identify common pages and features. Our analysis shows that including an About Me page, a portfolio, and a contact page is almost a must-have for photography websites. Additionally, 29% of the websites we reviewed included both a services page and a blog, while 21% had a testimonial section. Thus, adding these features and pages would be useful after launching the initial version of your photography website. According to our analysis, we need to add a blog 
and a Services page with a Testimonial section to complete the list of subpages and apps. Now that we have all the subpages and apps we need, we can start the customization process. Let's start with the About page to show you how easy it is. Go to the page menu in the top left corner. Select the About page. First, let's change the picture and add one of David Anderson, our fictional photographer. To do this, click on the picture. Now click on Change Image. Now upload your own images or search within the free library of images provided by Wix. To change an image's crop, double-click on it and change it. That looks good. The brand new AI Text Generator feature makes it much faster to write content for your website. Here's how it works. To open the AI Text Creator, first click on any text on your website and then on Create AI Text. Add a business type, a topic, and a few details and click Create Text. You will now receive three different AI-generated versions that you can use for free by clicking on Use Text. Of course, it is helpful to change the output and add a personalized touch, but having a tool to quickly draft a first version of text can be super useful, which is why we really love this feature. Since we are building a photography website, let's take a closer look at the Portfolio feature offered by Wix for this type of website. Select the Portfolio subpage in the Page menu, and double-click on the Portfolio section to open its settings. This app, specifically designed to manage your portfolio, is very easy to work with. First, add your projects consisting of a title, description, some optional information, and media. If you have more than one project, you can group them into collections like Wedding, Nature, and Portrait. Each collection has a title, description, cover image, and the projects you want to include in that collection. That's it. By clicking on the design icon, you can also change the appearance of the portfolio page and customize its design. Let's now customize the blog and publish our first blog post. Go to the page menu and select the blog page. Click on the posts section and then on manage posts. Here you can write new posts and manage all blog related settings. You can also open this section directly from your dashboard by clicking on blog from the left side menu. Let's start by creating our first post. Click on Create New Post in the upper right corner to open this window. Now write your first blog post as you would in any other text editor. To categorize your blog posts, add some tags and categories. When finished, click Publish. You can find your blog post in the overview and also in the post section for the blog page. Should you receive any comments on your blog posts, you will find them in the comments section of the blog menu. Here, you can manage the comments and reply, if needed. On the contact page, you can easily change the title and contact details. Let's now customize the contact form. You can easily rename the field names, buttons, and the text that will appear after submitting the form. In addition, you can add new fields such as a phone number. To do this, click on the form and then on Add New Field. Choose the field you want to add and drag and drop it into your form. To enable the form and save the submissions, click on it and then on Create Submission Table. You can now find all form submissions in your dashboard in the Communication section. You can also set up email notifications to ensure you are immediately notified when a potential client completes the form. Creating a services page is quick and easy. Go to the Page menu and select the Services page. Describe your services and replace the background image to match your branding. When finished with your website, click on the Preview button in the top right corner. I recommend that you review every page for both desktop and mobile to ensure it all looks good. To change something, simply click on Back to Editor. Let's say I want to delete this element on mobile. Quickly do this by using the Mobile Editor which you can always access by clicking on the mobile icon in the menu. It's important to note that any position and styling changes you do on mobile won't affect your desktop view, so you can optimize both views independently from each other. After reviewing all your pages on both devices, you only need to choose a domain name and publish the website. To do this, 
Click on the blue Publish button in the top right corner. That's it. People find your website by entering this URL into any web browser. If you already have a professional domain name like davidandersonphotography.com, you must upgrade to a premium plan to connect your domain to your website. To do this, click on Connect Your Domain in the Editor. You will now see a pop-up window that gives you two options. The second option enables you to connect a domain you already own. And if you do not have a professional domain name but would like one, you can do this through Wix by choosing one of their premium plans, which also allows you to get rid of the Wix ad you see on all free websites. Furthermore, you will receive tons of additional features. As promised, here's the bonus tip on how to save 50% on most premium plans. Wix typically promotes a 50% discount offer every week. If you don't see one after signing up, I recommend building your website, publishing it with the free plan, and then waiting for the 50% offer. It should not take more than one week to get notified. We have now completed every step in our process, making you well prepared to build your own stunning photography portfolio website, if you haven't already. If you have any feedback or questions, please let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It would mean the world to us and really helps us to make these videos. Thanks and good luck with your website.